we explained that Yellowgo is used to remove unwanted dye from fabric and discussed how to get good results from Yellowgo. Sometimes a small amount of fabric, like a single garment, gets an unwanted dye on it. Here we show how to use Yellowgo in a plastic pail to solve this problem. Safety first. Yellowgo, Rustgo, and even dilute solutions of Yellowgo, Rustgo, and water are corrosive and dangerous. Before you use Yellowgo or Rustgo, read their material safety data sheets available at alwilson.com. And when working with Yellowgo or Rustgo, follow all necessary precautions, including using acid resistant gloves and eye protection. Select a clean plastic pail that is large enough to hold a few gallons of solution and to allow for the free movement of the fabric you are trying to save. A five gallon pail usually works well. Remember that the pail needs to be plastic and needs to be clean. Remember to use temperature, concentration, and time to control the speed and power of Yellowgo. The hotter and more concentrated your Yellowgo solution, and the longer you leave dye stained fabric in contact with that solution, the more likely it is to remove dye. Fill your plastic pail about halfway with warm water and wet the fabric thoroughly. This will remove any loose dye and any residual chemicals that are on the fabric. Set the fabric aside, empty the rinse water, then add two or three new gallons of warm water to the pail. Next, add one to two ounces of Yellowgo per gallon of water. As explained in our second Yellowgo video, if you have Rustgo, you should slowly add it to the Yellowgo solution. You'll know you've added enough Rustgo when the Yellowgo solution turns pale green and you can see through it. Now soak the stained fabric in this Yellowgo, Rustgo, and water solution, stirring occasionally with a wooden or plastic spoon until the unwanted dye disappears. Once the dye is gone, rinse the fabric repeatedly and you're done. For more information, visit alwilson.com.